welcome back to But First Coffee, where life begins after coffee. As somebody who follows a lot of the new beauty products, I am always fascinated by the newest products that come out. Some of them really catch my eye and I can't wait to try them. Some of them make me curious. And then there's other ones that kind of make me say, what the f since we're nearing the end of 2015, I thought it would be fun to collect some of the weird beauty products that I have seen in 2015, try them out and let you guys know like if these things are worth it or are they really just as weird as they look. Let's do this thing. All right, I want to start with the biggest product, which is the Kiss Instawave Hair Curler. This is a curling wand that is supposed to sort of curl your hair for you. It kind of looks like a weird cone-headed octopus. Now, after trying this a couple of times, I really just found that this didn't curl my hair at all. So overall, this was a total dud. I think I paid $60 for this, and I'm really, really hoping that Ulta will let me return it because I want my $60 back. Let's move on to our next weird beauty product, which is this strange looking hair removal tool from Tweezerman. It kind of looks like one of those hand grips that you can use. I, I don't know, like what does this work out? Your wrist muscles? It says it's for facial hair. My guess is that it's probably just more for fine hair and they don't really want you using it on coarser hair. Also, like you would be a total champ to remove like all of your leg hair with this thing. So for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to try this on my upper lip while you all restrain from leaving rude mustache comments. And I can say after trying this that this little guy actually works. It pulls the hair out from the root and it's not really that painful. So we have our first weird beauty product winner working out my Instagram hand. All right, let's move on to a product that came out from one of our beloved drugstore brands, and that is CoverGirl. They came out with a foundation, one of their foundations that comes with this little foundation applicator. It's basically just like a little piece of rubber. It doesn't seem too innovative to me, but I definitely wanted to try it out. And I have to say that this thing is just really weird. It just kind of like smears the foundation around. It doesn't really blend the foundation in from what I can tell. And on top of all of that, it took me like three times longer to apply my foundation when I use this thing. I don't get it. The next beauty product that we are going to try is this. It's a hairbrush, but the idea basically is it's like any round brush, is that you can really use it at the roots to get nice volume. And I did try it uh, the first day that I brought it home, and actually it was such a horrifying experience that I'm not even going to demo it for you guys here again. Like I can show you in dry hair because it's like a little bit safer. No matter what I did, I ended up like grabbing a little bit of hair on the bottom piece, and then my hair would get all tangled. And there was like two or three times that I was certain my hair was never going to be removed from this. Like, life flashed before my eyes. That seems dramatic, but it's true. It's just that when my hair is wet, it's already much more prone to tangles, so I really have to be gentle with it, and uh, this guy just didn't work. And besides the fact that it makes a really great microphone for bathroom singing, I don't really suggest this guy as a hairbrush at least if you have my hair type. All right, last but not least, we have an eyelash curler. It's by the brand Japonescu. Probably saying this wrong. Now, it's not that this is like a crazy strange product. It's just that I feel like the eyelash curler is one of those products that nobody has ever really reinvented. Like they invented that shape the one time and they're like, okay, good, let's just stick with this forever. So I thought, hey, this is a little bit different. It's a little bit strange for an eyelash curler and I'm gonna try it out. And I actually found this to be a much more comfortable way to curl my eyelashes. It gives me the normal curl that I get from a regular eyelash curler, but it's a lot more comfortable and easy to use. It's also just kind of fun you can make it look like it's talking. So that was five weird beauty products that I saw from 2015. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching this week's video. I put a new video out every single week, so if you're not subscribed, if you hit that subscribe button down below, you'll get notified every time there is a new video. If you want to find me on the social medias, these are all of my social medias. Look at them all. But for now, that does it. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and I will see you all in my next video.